Hey guys, I'm Avesh and this is the part 12 of the MERN stack tutorial. In the previous session, we have created a controller and migrated the API logic from route.js file to the specific controller file. In this session, we'll create a simple model in Express.js. Please refer to the previous session before proceeding. Let's now understand the key concepts of MongoDB models with Mongoos. First, let's understand what is a schema. Schema defines the structure of documents within a collection. It specifies the fields, data types, data values, validation, etc. We have already created a schema using the cluster. Please refer to the previous sessions for MongoDB cluster creation and the user collection that we have created. Now let's understand what is a model. A model is a compiled version of schema. Models are responsible for creating and reading documents from the underlying MongoDB database. We need to follow the below steps to create a MongoDB model with Mongoose. At first, we need to create or install Mongoose package into the project. Once that is done, we need to connect to the MongoDB by setting up a connection. We'll do this step later. However, the third step is to define a schema. We will define the schema to represent the structure of the documents. And then we will compile the schema into a model. Once the schema is compiled and created as a model, we will use that model in the application. Let's now switch to the coding and get going. Let's create a folder in the Visual Studio and call this folder name as models. And under this models, we are going to create all the MongoDB models. Let's create one model called user.js. The reason I'm creating it as user.js in the previous sessions, we have created the collection as users. So let me create it as user.js as the model. Now within that, we just need to define a schema using the properties that we have created for the collection. In this, we have email, first name and last name as the properties. So in order to create them as the schema, we just need to use the email and define the type of the property. In this scenario, the type of the property is string. Similarly, we have first name and last name as well. So let me copy it from my other folder and add rest of the schemas as well. Now we have the user.js as the schema defined for the users collection. Notice that though we have defined the schema here, we are having errors. That's because we need to wrap this under the schema object. In order to do that, we need to install the mongoose. So let me install npm install mongoose in the command prompt or in the terminal. Press enter. Look at that. Mongoose is installed. After that, we have to define a property called mongoose and we need to import the mongoose using our required statement. So I'm going to say mongoose. Once this is done, we need to define schema equal to mongoose.schema. Once this is done, we need to wrap this JSON property file into the mongoose schema. How do we do that? We just need to define something called user schema and call this as new schema. And we need to wrap this under the schema property. With this, we have defined a structure as user schema. Notice that the errors are gone. Once this is done, we can also create more properties such as let me make it as a required true and other properties as well. However, for now, I will just add the required equal to true for email. We'll be adding more properties to the schema in the later stages of session. Once this is created, we need to export this user schema. In order to do that, we are going to create the model from the schema. So how do we do that model? So I would say constant user equal to mongoose dot model. Notice that we are converting this user schema into model by using our user object and using our user schema. Once we create the user mongoose model, we just need to export that so can we can consume it in the controller files. So in order to do that, we have the keyword module dot exports equal to user. That's it. It is very simple. So the steps are create the schema wrap the schema in the schema object. After that, expose the schema as a user schema and that user schema gets converted into mongoose model and that mongoose model is exported back 
for consumption in the controller. It's always difficult to create the schema always. So there are many tools available in the market which are transformation tools which can convert the JSON to Mongols. In order to do that, we simply need to open the JSON file. Let's say we have the user collection in our MongoDB. So I'm going to copy this user collection, copy this one and paste it under JSON to Mongo schema. Notice that we have JSON to Mongo schema here. So I'm copying the JSON file and look at that. The output of the Mongo schema is generated. We can also remove this ID so that it is auto generated and look at that automatically the schema is generated on the right hand side. So you can simply copy this Mongo schema and paste it into your Visual Studio solution over here directly from the existing collection as well. With this, we have successfully understood how to create the Mongo schema and the Mongo models in the Express.js. In the next session, we will focus on connecting the Mongo model and update the database using these model files. Till then, thank you for listening and have a great day.